Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here at Knoxville. Only the best go three of It is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at Eldora Speedway, it's showtime. You go for a Often imitated, never duplicated, the greatest show on dirt, the it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy, because ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Set to do battle for 30 laps, the green flag is waving! Hello again, it is Wing Nation, presented by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. We are glad you joined us talking sprint car racing, our favorite time of the week. Aaron Evernham and Steve Post, we have a great program for you. We're going to Canada first off, oh, Thomas okay. Kennedy. Yeah, A, we're going to Canada, and then our buddy Brad Doty's going to join us. So looking forward to some great times and great conversations as well. Uh, so really, really neat. Uh, Thomas Kennedy, we had met him at uh, Jackson a yeah, couple years ago. a few years back. Yeah, exactly, man. What a wheelman he is. He yeah. kicked it off big with the all, with the uh, uh, ASCS. But, Aaron, I'm telling you, this rain stuff is just, Oof. man, let's, let's hope here. We're sitting here April 30th. Let's hope the April showers end today. Bring May flowers. May flowers. <laughs> and blooms and, and blossoms cars. of sprint cars. <laughs> there we go. We'll go with that. Um, it, it, it's been rough. It has been. I mean, poor Williams Grove. Speedway. Oh, my God. Williams Grove is just O for April. <sighs> I mean that's that. I mean that's tough. That's and how tough frustrating running. the Saturday night shows are getting, and Sunday yeah. everywhere around them is still yeah. running. But Friday nights, yeah, and Attic I think is one for April. Ugh. I mean Friday nights have been bad. And the outlaws so. aren't doing so well either. No, not at all. I mean they were they had three scheduled and got one and a half in. Yeah, yeah, and, and you, you don't if you don't get the second half in, nobody gets paid. Yes. So uh, and your fans watching on Dirt Vision get disappointed. You, yeah, you, you. <laughs> well, you're 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 impeccable timing apparently. Uh, literally just got it fired up. I saw everyone tweeting about how crazy time yeah, trials were. Time trials, I saw some videos. Yeah. yeah. And I get it all set up. Kate's in bed. And Gibson comes on and says, oh, sorry, race fans. I'm like, ah, oh, they're kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Well, there you have it. Uh, classic ink, screen printing, and embroidery hot topics. Uh, Brad Sweet did win the World of Outlaw A-Main that got done last the week. The one. The one. So the big cat continues on. Uh, we'll mention this, and we'll talk to him a little bit. Thomas Kennedy was the big man on campus with the Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour, won at Eagle, Nebraska, and U.S. 36 in Missouri. Uh, they were Thursday and Friday night. Uh, Logan Wagner picked up the win at Port Royal in the 410. I uh, took the lead from his dad. Yeah. Uh, his dad and him were on the front row, actually. And his dad led the first five laps. Uh, I, I love this one, Ryan Smith mm. uh, with the Hefner Racing Team. We know they have a 360 program, yeah. uh, won their first race together, URC on Saturday night at yeah. Port. And I'm, I'm fairly confident that they're gearing up for some big runs this weekend with ASCS. So, um, but good to see Ryan Smith yes. get uh, back into victory lane and get Hefner into victory yes. lane and uh, the Red Robin team getting back to victory lane. So that is good. Chase Dietz had a whale of a battle with Freddie Raymer to pick up the win at the fabulous Lincoln Speedway. Out in California, Shane Golubek won the Sprint Car Challenge. Do I see Bud Kading got a win? Yeah. Oh, you can't ever go wrong when <laughs> Bud Kading gets a win. So, you know there was uh, a party. You know there was a party. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> there is a tweet that will uh, air on um, Saturday on our MAV TV show of uh, a party pla- a party place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is our tweet of the week. So, uh, yeah, so Bud Kading, uh, and, and he did win the 360s at Ocean Speedway. So there you have it, our Classic Ink Screen Printing Embroidery Hot Topic. Classic Ink Screen Printing. Great for hats, for t-shirts, for sweatshirts, for hoodies, whatever you may need along the way. And you can get your Winged Nation stuff, which is all Classic Ink, at www.wingnation.com. Classic Ink, not only for racing, but also for church events, other sporting events. If you need corporate guests or corporate or a club or whatever you're whatever you're doing, they have it covered at www.classicinkusa.com. That's classicinkusa.com. We mentioned the battle at the fabulous Lincoln Speedway. Wayne Harper had the call on Speed Shift TV. It was Chase Dietz. It was Freddie Raymer. Ends up at the end of the night, Dietz. Got the upper hand on it. It's our Dry Dean Diesel All Deftifying Move of the Week. And now for the Dry Dean Deftifying Move of the Week, where one driver simply amazes us with their on track moves. Key lead, here comes Raymer. Ready, Raymer looks to the inside. Chase Dietz gets a good one up the side. Here comes Ready. He'll pull the side. Dietz returns the field again. 
to the end zone in the turn number one. Chase Deeks retakes the lead. That death defying move was brought to you by Dry Dean Diesel All Death, the official death of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. Visit drydean.com for more information. The winner z 6 Corvette.com sweepstakes to benefit the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum in Knoxville, Iowa is underway. Go to winner z 6 Corvette.com to find out how you can win the Torch Red 2019 Z06 Corvette that is on display now in the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. The winner will be announced Saturday night, August 10th during the 59th annual Knoxville Nationals. Visit winner z 6 Corvette.com to win this awesome ride. For over 50 years, drivers in Sprint Car, Midget, Micro, Modified, and even Dirt Lay Model have taken the checkered flag on Weld Racing Wheels. Legendary drivers like Joe Saldana, Carl, Mark, and Steve Kinzer, Doug Wolfgang, and countless other racers have trusted Weld Racing Wheels for their superior strength and lightweight construction to finish ahead of the competition. With 50 years of race-winning engineering and technology, American-made Weld Racing Wheels are designed and built to withstand virtually any abuse you throw at them. Weld Racing, proven speed. Aggressive Hydraulics, where we engineer the cylinders that move your business. We specialize in designing and manufacturing purpose-built application-specific hydraulic cylinders with superior precision and performance, making OEM products stronger, crafting cylinders that operate on a global basis in a wide variety of industries and applications. Get aggressive with your cylinder challenges. AggressiveHydraulics.com O'Reilly. Is your check engine light on? Don't ignore it. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today and let our professional parts people scan your vehicle for free. We'll retrieve the codes, discuss possible solutions, and even help you find a professional technician if needed. Visit O'Reilly Auto Parts today for our free check engine light help. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. This is Terry McCarl, and you're watching MRN's Wing Nation on MRN.com. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation. We are having a ball, and we are glad you joined us. Now, we're having fun here, but I am telling you, the cat that had the fun last weekend was our buddy Thomas Kennedy from up in Canada, picked up the win at Eagle, Nebraska on Thursday night with the Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour and doubled right back down on Friday night at US 36 Raceway in Missouri. He joins us on the Red Brand Friends Hotline. Hello, Thomas. Welcome back to Wing Nation. How you guys doing? Uh, we are doing well. Congratulations. Uh, tell us about uh, tell us about those wins you had last week. Well, it's funny, actually. Uh, we didn't even know that those two races were happening. <laughs> Uh, we, we left on Wednesday because we were uh, going to Lincoln, Nebraska to pick up a chassis at uh, Eagle Motorsports Incorporated. Yeah. And uh, we were going to race at Park Jefferson for that ten grand to win. So, yeah. you know, we were driving, and all of a sudden I go on Twitter, and I see somebody post that they're going to race the SDF at Eagle. I'm like, well, heck, look online. It's like 25 miles from, uh, from EMI. So we're like, oh, heck, we might as well go there. And then uh, Park Jefferson canceled, so then we stuck around and uh, raced at US 36. Awesome. Oh, my God. Good decisions. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Thomas, you talked about after both wins that you knew you had a really good car, uh, especially I think US 36. You said you kind of stuck with the top line because you, you knew your car was, was there. Uh, talk about how you know that so early in a race. Well, you know, when you win uh, Lucas Oil the first night, you know, you're, you get a confidence booster going into the second night. And uh, like I've small tracks, like I race on three eighth miles a lot. And the, the only thing is with US 36, it's a different track. Um, I guess I could compare it to uh, the track back at home here in Winnipeg that we never raced on anymore. But uh, it's a really high bank. And it feels like you're going on a roller coaster ride going into turn one. It's just so spoofy. Um, but you know what track like that, you just got to keep your momentum going up, up high. And, and, and that's where I found that, uh, our car was the best was up high. You know, I tried down low and it, it worked okay, but it's just like anything else. If you keep your momentum up, uh, you're liable to, uh, to keep going pretty fast around the racetrack. Get that speed. That's for sure. And, yeah. and, and, and roll along. Now uh, I want to go back to, I want to go back. You were, you were headed down to were you headed down to pick up a chassis or a full car and then what all <laughs> how, how did that car get so ready so quick or did you have another car with you or how did that all work 
Well, you know, as, as you guys know, we started off our year in Florida and, uh, you know, previous years we've had great success and this year we didn't have next to no success. So, uh, we, uh, bent up a chassis there. So on our way home from Florida, we dropped it off okay. in Lincoln there. And then, uh, uh, we decided to come pick it up, uh, this past weekend. And then, uh, yeah, that's when, uh, Park Jefferson canceled and we found out they were racing nearby. So obviously the, the bent chassis that was fixed was a, a good fix or did you have another car that you ran and that was just picking up the, the spare chassis? No, we, uh, we ran another car. Um, we had uh, the car that we ran this past weekend. We ran for the uh, Knoxville Nationals this, year, this past year, and then uh, we haven't really run it since. So we decided to keep running that car and see how it goes, and uh, it worked out for us. I guess so. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Twice. Oh, and, and, and also, when we left uh, US 36 on our way home, we went through five hours of a blizzard through Iowa, Nebraska, uh, Minnesota. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, you're still you're still you're still right in the deep throes of winter up there where you're at, aren't you? <laughs> no, there's no snow here. Oh, really? You had to drive. I through don't. I, I I don't know what Mother Nature is doing to the states, but we have no snow here. So there's no snow. Well, yeah, because we got like it all. You guys. Well, you can't have any of it because we got it all here. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's crazy. But yeah. we usually get the flood in the spring because of the Red River. But we have floodways around Winnipeg since the '97 flood, so. Uh, we're we're usually okay here in Winnipeg, but I know that Nebraska, uh, Wisconsin, all those other areas, they got huge flooding. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Thomas, now that you're leading the ASCS <laughs> National Point Tour, you're going to stick to it? Or are you are you going to stick to what you already had planned? Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny. Uh, you know, the the first night that we won, my dad's like, "Oh, hey, did you know that we were leading the ASCS points?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh yeah." He's like, "Heck, if you win tomorrow, we're going to have to take on the tour because you'll be in the lead even more." And I'm like. Yeah, but you know how that goes with work and everything. But, no, uh, actually, we do plan on racing full-time with them. Not this year. Uh, we have other commitments this year. But we, in the next couple of years, we do plan to attack the National Tour Rookie of the Year. Um, it's kind of cool because they have, like, a weekend on, weekend off type deal. So it kind of helps us out with traveling. Yeah. Because they have, like, what, 45 races yeah. scheduled for this year to kind of help the teams get where they need to go. So it's it's kind of nice now that uh, they're a little more flexible with uh, traveling teams. And, and so, yeah, we do plan on racing with them full time. It's just a matter of, of what year works for us the best. Yeah, yeah. And they've got some that are way up north there when they go out west and everything, which are, uh, you know, kind of up there in the in the in the northern land as well. Um, yeah, so- in the Washington area. Yeah, the Washington Air over Skagit for the for the Jim Raper Dirt Cup and and those races. So, what is the plan for this year, or uh, are you just going to go where the snow isn't? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm sick of the snow. Uh, it's already it's almost May and we're there's still snow everywhere. Um, but no, we uh, actually there's a, a nice uh, group uh, Midwest Power Series around the Jackson area. Mm-hmm. They have uh, some pretty darn good paying shows this year, like three grand to win every race, like 500 to start. Uh, they have a nine grand bonus, another three grand bonus up for grabs that you could win nine grand total this weekend. So if a guy wins both features on Friday and Saturday, they'll get an extra three grand. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do that and, you know, double down again. But, uh, you know, we plan to race in Jackson mostly this year as well. And uh, Knoxville, we'll get as much time, time as we can there before the nationals this year it helped us last year so we plan to do the same this year probably a lot with the 410 stuff this year just because we didn't have the luck with the 410 stuff last year um but yeah other than that you know we'll hit a few uh, lucas oil races here and there you know we like to go to wheatland missouri that's a, a track of its own that's hard to, to get a hold of but uh yeah no other than that uh, we have a pretty busy schedule now, you mentioned that you're going to go back and forth between the 360 410. Will you run both some nights at Knoxville, or are you going to you know, pick and choose what you focus on? Yeah, we plan on racing uh, Jackson and, and Knoxville, the Jackson opener, uh, 410, and then uh, double duty Saturday, 410 Very and 360. Cool. Nice. Lots a lot of, seat of, time. Lot of work. A yeah. lot of work. A yeah. lot of work, yeah. lots of seat time for that driver, though. Yeah, you a lot know, of fun. So. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Thomas, I'm telling you what, I was so happy to uh, I follow along with Racing Boys all weekend long, and I was happy to see you knock that first one out. And I, I, I was working or doing something. I didn't miss, catch much of the second one. I'm like, I thought I was rereading the press release, and all of a sudden <laughs> I realized you doubled down. So congratulations on that. We appreciate the time. Uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you at Jackson, if not beforehand. But thanks for joining us here on Wing Nation. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Aaron. Have a great day. There we go. Thomas Kennedy. 
Man, what a good kid he yes. is. Man, I to, we just, we went up to Jackson, and and uh, I don't even know how we stumbled into him. I think we were just uh, picking a couple local drivers to go yeah. with the World of Outlaw guys. And this kid sits down, and we're sitting there going, oh, my God, this kid, this is fun. Yeah, he gave a great interview. Great interview, yeah. great time. Uh, sadly, I think he went out and knocked himself Ooh, unconscious. Was, yeah, yeah, he had a bad flip that night or that weekend. But, uh, man, he can wheel a race car, oh, though. Yeah. Oh, man, I'll tell you, he's fun to watch race, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, very exciting. We've got to get him to hook us up on them Buffalo Wild Wings, too. Yeah. yeah either him or <laughs> Dobmeyer. we got to get working on that deal. So, uh, so well, there you have it. There is uh, Thomas Kennedy, fresh off from a couple trips to Victory Lane. We do need to step away. When we come back, uh, the legendary Brad Doty, he joins us next year on Wing Nation. Ten tours, over 200 nights of racing. The American Sprint Car Series is back for its 28th year. Whether you're enjoying the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series National Tour at Williams Grove, Eagle Raceway, Skagit Speedway, or any of the nine ASCS regional tours across Arizona, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and beyond, winged and even non-winged, there's a race happening near you. Check online for scheduled details at ASCSRacing.com. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And when you can't be there live, catch the national tour and select regional events on RacingBoys.com. Red Brand Fence, the most durable, dependable, and safest fence in the world. Top horse farms use Red Brand Fence to safeguard their equine investments. Cattlemen install it to ensure their cattle are safe. Racetracks around the world use it to protect spectators, fans, and crews. For over a century, Red Brand's quality has been used internationally for countless uses. Red Brand Fence, the most trusted name in fence. Explore our products at redbrand.com. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires will get you there. Whether you're running on dirt or running a job. Our dependable, high-quality tires are the perfect fit for your needs. For unmatched value, selection, and warranty with industry-leading road hazard protection, there's only one choice, Hercules Tires. To learn more, visit HerculesTire.com or call 800-677-9535. Hercules Tires, right on our strength. No matter what or where you race, Hefner Racing Products and HRP Wings has you covered. Check out the premier Shark Wing as well as other Sprint Car Wings and components. Sprint Car, Mini and Micro Sprint Wings. And the HRP Original Recess Rivet Wing. All HRP Wings are wind tunnel tested. HRP carries a full line of affordable, top of the line, USA built Sprint Car components. Shop online for all this and more at HRPRacing.com. The racer's choice. Hefner Racing Products and HRP Wings. I'm Danny Holcraver, and you're listening to Wing Nation on MotorRacingNetwork.com. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation. We're having a great time, and uh, let's go right back to the Red Brand Fence Hotline. Joining us, he is a columnist for Sprint Car and Midget Magazine, a Hall of Famer, and one of our favorites, Brad Doty, is on the line. Hello, Brad. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Always great to chat with you, Brad. I, I, I hate that we're going to start on a little downer note here, but... As a racer, this rain, and you've seen it there in Ohio, you know it's happening in Pennsylvania, World of Outlaws, we can't seem to get two nights of dirt vision in a row. Man, I'm telling you what, for the racers and the teams, we're frustrated. How bad is it for those guys and gals? Oh, it's tough. And you guys, you mentioned Sprint Car Midget Magazine, and and after your opener, I thought, well, maybe I just need to delete it. You, saw, you guys talked about everything I'm, I talk about in my, in my column, um, yeah. and I looked back and I did basically the same thing last year but but this year is even tougher but uh it's a no win for everybody i mean you know the promoters if they cancel early which i think more teams fans everybody appreciates um you know canceling early because it saves money saves the promoter money once you open the gates and if it rains then you know you have full payroll and insurance and ambulance and all those fees Mm -hmm. and bills that you have to pay you know, the fans have traveled, the, the, the teams have traveled, so it costs them money. And then you get, you know, if you're a traveling, running a traveling series, chances are you're a professional driver. You make your money, you know, a percentage of the winnings. Yeah. If you're not racing, you're not making any money. So, you're, you know, if you're flying back and forth to get home, obviously there's plane tickets. And if you're sitting out there in a motel, there's motel bills. So it's been horrible. And, you know, April uh, has been – you know, really brutal this year, it seems like. Yeah, sure. absolutely. On a, on a much happier note. Yes, in a, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that out of the way. There we go. In a few months, you have the, the Brad Doty Classic coming up. July 16th, I believe, is the date. Uh, how are preparations going for that? Going well. Actually, going well. We've got a, a, some new sponsorships that we're going to be announcing and been working really hard on that. Um, 
you know, ticket sales are going going well, and um, they can go to woosprint.com. Uh, and just click on uh, – they change their website, so just click on racing, click on schedule and find us. You can buy tickets there, or you can go to atticaracewaypark.com for – Tickets there as well, and it, it's going really well. Um, you know, the interest seems uh, really up this year, which I, you know, I feel that every year. But it just seems like uh, you know a lot of people are taking a lot of interest already, and we're still a good ways away from from the race. Well, yeah, and it ties in really well with Eldora and all of the all of the the festivities up there. It keeps uh, keeps a lot of excitement in that region along the way. Um, Brad, when we when we look at what we have seen this race season, okay, we go down to Volusia where Darren Pittman and Dennis Roth's car just absolutely flogged everybody. Um, and and but it but it seems strange to me. You got a couple of guys with two wins, a bunch of guys with one wins. When we look at the world of outlaws, but boy, nobody seems to seems to have got their arms around it just yet. Yeah, and you know it's, um, and I like that. I mean, yeah, I you know, too, yeah. not not one car's, not one team's dominating, and and uh, the racing has been phenomenal. Um, and uh, you know, it it's it, nobody's in a rhythm yet because of all the rainouts and 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 all this stuff. You know that uh, uh, it's going to take some some teams. As you guys have documented, there's been a lot of driver changes and a lot of crew chief changes and that kind of thing. So nobody's had a real good uh, chance to get into a rhythm and, and get figured out what the driver needs, what the race car needs and, and get, you know, they just need to get some, some laps under their belt. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Uh, Brad, one of the things you tweeted the other day caught my attention, and we talked about how it was an eventual rain out at Jacksonville Speedway, but you tweeted about the qualifying. Uh, talk about how cool of a racetrack that was and how, how awesome just the, the qualifying session was and intense, like at, watching as a, a former driver. You know, I love the little bull rings, and, uh, and I don't want to take anything away from the bigger racetracks, but, you know, um, you know, and Jacksonville is so unique because it is a very small facility, and you know they've worked really hard to get the outlaws there. And obviously, the ticket price is is what some would call fairly high, but you know I'd say they're lucky if they break even. Probably when it's all said and done, they just want the world of outlaws in town. And and man, that that little bull ring, uh, you know, is, is so exciting. Always, I, I used to uh, the, the previous promoters had me out annually for, for one of their big races and, and uh, always enjoyed doing a little co-announcing, watching the racing and, and how good it was. And, and uh, to see the outlaws there was pretty cool. And, you know, some, as you know, the qualifying turn three and four, the cushion was biting some people <laughs> and people questioned about, you know, fixing it. Well, you can't, in the middle of qualifying, it's not fair uh, to those who have already qualified to go out and work on the racetrack. Uh, in the middle of qualifying, and it, yeah, it was rough and tough. But then, um, you know, I believe it was David Gravel went out uh, fairly late and and was was really quick. So you know, he he didn't have any trouble with it. So you can't blame it all on the racetrack. <laughs> Boy, that is for sure. That really is. It was uh, it was it was quite the entertaining session. That is for sure. Well, we're, yeah. yeah, we're chatting with Brad Doty here, uh, Sprint Car and Midget Magazine, and uh, television analyst and Hall of Famer and all around good guy and great friend and promoter of the Brad Doty Classic coming up July sixteenth at Attica Raceway Park. I, I, I want to shift gears, and and I, I'm fairly confident. Probably a year or two, we ask you about it, but I kind of want to ask you about it again. You look to your east over in central Pennsylvania. And this 69K car just doing what the 69K car does. And that win a couple weeks ago at Port Royal where he found that groove in the middle of the track and drove around Danny. Then he goes to Lincoln, which is not, I mean, it's Lance. Total opposite. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, how do, how does a team do that? We you, you we have just all talked about nobody's getting any seat time, nobody's racing, nobody's doing anything. They have no time to fine tune it. Here's a team that runs a limited schedule, <laughs> and they're beating all the teams that run full time. How does that team do that? Well, Davy Davy Brown, Lance Deweese, and Donnie Kreitz. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you look at yeah. you look at the talent, you know, uh, but in the years of experience between those three guys and and. They've all been very successful. Uh, of course, Donnie Kreitz, you know, as an owner driver with, with Davey and Lance with many multiple teams, won multiple championships. 
So when you put those three guys in the experience they have, I mean, that's tough to beat. Um, you know, there's a lot of good driver and crew chiefs combinations out there, but when you get an owner slash driver and a, and a, and a crew chief engine man like Davey Brown and, and, and Lance DeWeese who knows those racetracks and, and um, you know, just it, it, it's so, so tough to beat those guys and to watch the way, you know, he, he rolled around the outside to take the lead was just, I mean, obviously the restart, I mean, you got to have some luck in sure. racing and he yeah. wasn't going to win that race if it wasn't for the caution. Right. And, but he took full advantage of it, rolled to the outside. I mean, it was so close. You couldn't stick a piece of paper between his left front and Dietrich's right rear when he rolled up you know, on the outside of him going into one, but it was just perfect to, to squeeze by and take the lead. This, you know, Lance's Lance's career, and and you've you've raced against Lance, and you've you've known Lance all along. When when we've done Wing Nation, I think for eight years, and and in all honesty, as this show started, Lance was kind of I don't mean to say washed up, but he was he was not winning nearly as much as he mm-hmm. used to win. He was no longer in the Dyer car. He was getting a ride here, and he'd go and win. Mm-hmm. He he really didn't have a good run in the Hefner number twenty seven car. You know, he pick up a win here and everything. Put yourself in Lance's shoes. How how cool does this have to be at this point to to know you've got the skills, but at this point, and we don't know how long they're going to go to be able to showcase that talent. And and he's put himself at the forefront of sprint car racing. Oh man, you know it's it's he's, he's got to be pinched himself because as as a driver, you're you know a lot of people and there are some drivers with, with big egos. But there's no doubt about that. But there's a lot of us that are pretty insecure yeah. too, and you're only as good as your last race. <laughs> Yeah. And you always wonder when your career is over. And, and you know, he was at a point where he was looking at other things to do. Uh, a couple other guys, Paul McMahon, Tim Schaefer, were kind of in the same boat, you know. It mm-hmm. looked like things had slowed down. There were hardly any rides available. You know, what am I going to do? for You know, and, and next thing you know, they get in a different car, and they start kicking everybody's butt or running well and winning races again, and their, their confidence is back. But, but the – I enjoy, I really enjoy to see to see the the comeback that these guys have made and and like I said what Lance and those guys have done it's just pretty incredible for him to keep you know racking up the wins and adding to his stats uh, especially Central Pennsylvania wins and and to do it with those guys and that and that group of people they got to be having fun. For sure. Brad, you mentioned a few years ago that there there weren't maybe as many rides available. It seems our sport is just headed in such a great direction. What are your thoughts on, on the state of the sport? It does it does seem good. Um, you know, I'm a little concerned that um there aren't as many car owners willing to, you know, to to spend the money or, or, or do what it takes. Um but there are family teams and and there are some new rides, some new car owners that, that are, you know, coming back out too or coming out that, uh, you know, putting drivers in. But it just seems like the car count, uh, somebody I saw, I believe it was on Twitter the other day, um, you know, a car count uh, for a particular weekend, you know, it was the 410, 360, yeah. uh, 358, uh, you know, 305s, and how many, how many cars of each. And I tweeted, I remember the days when there were two divisions, winged and non-winged, you know, <laughs> when it came to sprint car racing. So, you know, if you added up all these or all these cars, sprint cars all around the country, there are plenty of sprint cars out there. They're just divided in different divisions. But even the 410 level and at the World of Outlaws level, um, you know, I know there were a lot of rainouts, but to have the amount of cars that they had at Jackson on Sunday was was great to see. And and uh, I, I think everything's on a on the upswing. Yeah, that was a uh, Johnny Gibson tweet. I think Pennsylvania, Central Pennsylvania, between um, between Lincoln, Port, and Grandview, and I think it was just those three tracks. Grandview had the three hundred fives running over there. I think there was a hundred and sixty two cars between those. But but you're right. It was four divisions: yeah. four tens, three sixty, three fifty eight, and three hundred fives. And yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, imagine if we had those all in one division or half of those in one division. Oof. So. Um, right. Pretty good stuff. Brad, I'm telling you, it's always great to get a chance to chat with you again July 16th, folks. We'll talk to you before the uh, Brad Doty Classic, and uh, uh, we'll talk to you when you're checking the weather apps all the time. <laughs> I was just thinking yeah, that. We're, you know, unless you've got like a, a, a two-month window or three-month window on Farm, that thing. Farmer's Almanac Farmer's is Farmer's Almanac. There we go. Yeah, yeah, but, I, I, yeah. I'm, 
You know me. I'm gonna try. I'm trying really hard not to not to even think about that. Yeah. I am sure you'll you'll spend plenty of time thinking about it when we get closer. So uh, taking take, it, oh, take yeah. it off your mind now, Brad. Always a pleasure to chat with you. We appreciate the time, and uh, we'll continue to follow along with you. Of course, very active on Twitter, and we love that. And of course, Sprint Car and Midget Magazine. But thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure here on Wing Nation. Hey, it's always my pleasure to be on. Thank you, guys. There we go. The great Hall of Famer, Brad Doty. Love his perspective. Me too. Yeah, yeah. And he's right. You know, you think about it. We talk, and Lance kind of gets to share the headlines, although when Schaefer rolls in and, and Paul McMahon yeah. with the Misfits, man, those are great combinations. <laughs> yeah. Wow, those are great combinations. And and drivers, yeah, Paul Paul went and got a real job. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Schaefer had going on. Lord knows he might have just been sitting in Aliquippa. You know, Lance has worked in the shock business. He was looking at consulting yeah. and everything and still doing that. But, uh, you know, Brad makes a very good point. We've got a bunch of those guys that uh, uh, just uh, set that shelf aside right yeah, now for a yeah. little bit. Yeah, and he it, it reminded me how close they were to being done. Yeah. Like, I almost forgot about that. You yeah. know, you just think of them as consistent racers, but there was a time where we almost had a few retire. Retire, or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now now there's a few that wish they would retire. So, uh, yeah, uh, great stuff. Always appreciate talking to Brad Doty. We do need to step away. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about one of our favorite places, the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. And uh, I'm going to tease you on something also. Uh, I'm going to tease you because I'm going to tell you, and you can't do it now, but I'm going to tease you about something coming up where you can win a free set of tires. So we'll do that in just a moment. Sage Fruit is a high-quality grower, packer, and shipper of Washington State apples, pears, and cherries. Sage Fruit believes in sprint car racing as a proud sponsor of sprint cars for the past 16 years and a partner of Wing Nation for the past four years. We love sprint car racing, and we're there for our sprint car fans. Sage Fruit works hard to deliver an exceptional eating experience. We value our relationship with sprint car fans and appreciate your continued support of Sage Fruit. Ask for Sage Fruit at your local grocer. Since the dawn of American industry, Drydeen was there as the country built its first roads, laid the blocks of its factories, and spanned rivers with new bridges and rails. Today, with Drydeen's all technology, we instill this heritage into every Drydeen oil, lubricant, fluid, and deft product we make. Drydeen is a tradition of performance with 21st century technology. Drydeen, official motor oil of the world of outlaws and always American owned and operated. Visit Drydeen.com for more information. Looking for custom race wear and embroidery? Do you want your race fans to represent your race team with trendy original apparel? Contact Classic Ink USA, the new standard in custom screen printing and embroidery. Located in Greater Pittsburgh, Classic Ink USA's professional staff utilizes state-of-the-art facilities to transform your ideas into an attractive wearable piece. From custom track swag race wear to trendy quick crew crew wear, Classic Ink handles it all. Find out how you can get started. Contact Classic Ink USA screen printing and embroidery at the track and on your back. Right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, pick up two five and a quarter ounce bottles of Lucas Fuel Injector Cleaner for $8. Clean and lubricate your fuel system while increasing miles per gallon with two bottles of Lucas Fuel Injector Cleaner for $8 at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Sheldon Hanshield. You're watching Wing Nation. It is Wing Nation, and we're glad you joined us here. Of course, you can follow along with us all the time at www.wingnation.com. You can catch all of the archives, all of the shows, our broadcast calendar, and so much more. Again, wingnation.com. You can also get that apparel on there. That looks awful good mm -hmm. seeing that at the racetrack. So uh, let's talk about uh, the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum, of course, our favorite spot on the planet, located in turn number two in Knoxville, Iowa. And we always do this, uh, or a lot of times we talk about the birthdays. And so coming up later this week, Sam Trailer, Dwayne Poncho Carter, Mark uh, Kinzer has a birthday coming up, Rip Williams. Uh, yesterday, Louis Rusty Espin, uh, Espinoza. And uh, how about this one? Ed Shepard, uh, birthday would have been yesterday. Uh, he was the class in the class of 2013, 1909. He was born, lived through 1971. Now, when you ride a horse to the racetrack, <laughs> You got it bad. Yeah. But when he was a kid in the in the tens, because he was born in 1909, he rode a, a horse to Jungle Park Speedway so he could watch the races because he loved the races. Well, in 1952, with the family farm, they decided to build a racetrack on the family farm. Just uh, believe it's the southwest of uh, Indianapolis, 
Well, it's Paragon Speedway. And they have been going strong ever since. Yeah. Now, this is this cracks me up because <laughs> in the early days, they would just have the horses and the goats loose all over the racetrack. So you didn't have to mow the lawns. Well, because and smart. then they, then you get to like if race night is Saturday night you'd get to like Friday afternoon and you'd shush them all the way from you the racetrack. Fire track. up a motor or two. Fire up a motor or two, <laughs> get them out of the racetrack. But everything is nice. The goats, they said, go right around the light poles and everything else, wow. clean everything up. Oh yeah. So uh, so yeah. So Ed Shepherd uh, ran the track uh, for a number of years. He also co-promoted events at Terre Haute. Um, just to show you how big this guy was, uh, when he passed in 1971, listen to this group of pallbearers, Sheldon Kinzer, Bob Kinzer, Dick Gaines, Rex Mitchell, Gene Henson, and Frank Hollinsworth. So very, very in touch, very, very big time into the sprint car world, and not a shocker that he was part of the class of 2013 into the Sprint Car Hall of Fame. And that's the thing we love about the Sprint Car mm-hmm. Hall of Fame. Uh, we're talking about goats uh, cleaning a racetrack up. And riding uh, horses and riding to the horses races. And riding horses to the racetrack at Jungle Park. Um, so great stuff. So Ed Shepard, uh, we celebrate him this week, and we celebrate all things great out at the Sprint Car Hall of Fame. And, you know, Sprint Car Hall of Fame, uh, you know, Sprint Car HOF, there's all kinds of ways to donate, all kinds of ways to participate. Sprint Car Stuff is like the mm. greatest place for all your Sprint oh, Car yeah. gear, okay? And so you can go there. And, um, yeah, exactly. And it's just, it's a wonderful spot. So SprintCarStuff.com is where they sell all their gear. All right, now, I tease this a little bit, and, and we need to pump the brakes on it. Today's April 30th. This starts May 1st. Okay, so if you're listening to this on Tuesday, just take a pill, okay? And, put but it tomorrow, in the But tomorrow, yeah. put it on your calendar. You need to go to HerculesTires.com slash MRN. Register every month this year, starting May first, May, June, July, August. You get the you get the thing. Yeah, you know the yeah, calendar, yeah. okay? Starting for the month of May, Hercules is giving away a set of tires. Wow! Yeah, how about that? That's that's yeah. Our main man Wilson coming through yeah. on us there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're Camille up cheap. there, their yeah. gang. Yeah. So that'll start tomorrow. Now we're gonna put it on all of our Twitter machines and all of that stuff. And we'll talk about it some more on Thursday and and and, and over the weekend on Mav TV and throughout. But yeah, it's at HerculesTires.com slash MRN. We love those folks up at Hercules Tires. So uh, for your Wing Nation gear and apparel, uh, you can get it at WingNation.com. If you're going to Lernerville and Sharon this week, it is on the um, All-Star, mm-hmm. the Ollie's Bargain Outlet All-Star truck. So you can get it there or you can order it at WingNation.com. Uh, let's take a look at our HRP Racing Products upcoming calendar. Coming up on Thursday, Sherry Hodnett's going to join us. going to be great. They have a big event coming up on Sunday. going to be fun Oh, up yeah. There. And I just want to see how Sherry's doing. And on Saturday, on Wing Nation, presented by Sage Fruit on MAV-TV, Donnie Schatz joins us. So always love chatting with Donnie Schatz. So I think that covered I think we got all the things handled there. Yeah. So we got, got a and, lot. Yeah, and thanks to Thomas Kennedy and Brad Doty for joining us. But again, more important than all of that, Thank you for joining us here today. Wing Nation has been brought to you by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Watch Wing Nation Saturday mornings on MAV-TV. You can also find Wing Nation on wingnation.com or your favorite podcast provider. Wing Nation is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.